Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Ita Trap Reviewers. In this video, I have an awesome one for you guys, and this is about iOS 11.1. So the dev beta actually came out earlier today, and then later the public beta was available. And what's cool about uh, the fourth beta of iOS 11.1 is we are 99% sure that this is the GM candidate uh, for the firmware. So that means the public uh, can expect this to be released sometime next week. Uh, my guess is either Monday or Tuesday. Tuesday is looking more likely. Um, but again, for a beta to be pushed out on a Friday is kind of a big deal. Um, a lot of people don't notice this. Like I've watched like two or three other uh, update videos of people posting about this and they're not noticing the fact that Apple pushing something so big like this, like a GM candidate out to developers and beta testers and stuff is a big deal because if something goes wrong, the software developers are not going to want to come in on a Saturday and Apple doesn't want to pay them overtime or whatever that you have to do. So, uh, yeah, so the fact that they're pushing this out on a Friday means they are rushing this firmware big time. Uh, this firmware contains the fix for the crack exploit that I posted a video about before. So Apple is just throwing all their resources at this beta. Uh, and this is actually the GM. They want to get this out as soon as possible to secure everyone's devices. Um, and what, how do we know that it's the GM candidate? Well, first of all, uh, they released it on a Friday. Second of all, they released it. Uh, well, there's been two releases this week of betas. Second of all, or third of all, whatever, uh, the public beta was released later in the day. And also the build number doesn't have any crazy long letters and numbers. Uh, it's just a normal build number. So uh, we are pretty much sure that this is the GM candidate. So again, expect that next week. Uh, inside of 11.1, uh, there's some new changes like they brought the 3D touch uh, side swipe gesture back, thank God, uh, even though I had just gotten used to not using that. Also a couple new emojis. Uh, and some bug fixes uh, all across the board. Uh, something funny that I did see down here, well, it's not really funny. Uh, Apple COO Jeff Williams and Foxconn chief will reportedly meet amid iPhone 10 production issues. Uh, I know a couple video videos ago, Digitimes and a couple other agencies were reporting that there were no issues uh, with the iPhone 10 production, no holdups. Clearly, there are some issues. Uh, and uh, Ming Chi Ko actually said that there are reportedly only two to three million going to be available at pre order. So, if that's true, I mean, that's really bad. That's pretty much what I was uh, estimating months ago and you know, no one wants to believe that stuff, but yeah, two or three million. If, if that's all that they have total worldwide, uh, a lot of people are not gonna be happy. But yeah, so uh, this is just a quick update for you guys. I did see also that Apple's allowing iPhone upgrade program customers to get a head start on iPhone 10 upgrade. Not sure what that means exactly because I am not part of that. Pretty sure you can't pay in full with that. Uh, you have to pay over like payments and stuff. I'd rather just uh, dump all my money at once. But uh, if you want to do that, uh, I guess you guys can do that. I heard something like it runs hard credit checks like on your, I don't know how it works, but anyways, not for me. Uh, but yeah, in case you guys are interested, that's that. We are exactly a week away from the pre-order. Well, a little bit less, I guess, because it's already 10 o'clock PM. But uh, so if you guys aren't excited yet, well, you better get hyped for the iPhone 10. Uh, because it is coming very soon, assuming you get your pre-order in. So uh, I will try to have a lot of videos next week going over the pre-order. Uh, if I find out any new news about how to pre-order or if there's a quicker way to like add it to your bag like the day before or a couple days before, of course you know I'll be making a video on that. Uh, so you guys can expect that. So hit this video with a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that little notification bell, uh, especially for this week because you guys don't want to miss any of the videos. So that's all I got for this video, guys. If you liked it, again, thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.